Diolch, uh, Llywydd, we are a cofnod yn deud y dylid cael gwared ar fod iechyd Betsy Cadwalad yr oni bai bod nhw'n gallu dod yn ôl ar y trywydd cywir, ac mae gen i ofn bod yr adroddiad yma dyn ni wedi weld rhywun yn gwneud dim i roi hyder i fi yn nefodol y bwrdd. Wrth nos yn ôl, wrth ateb cwestiwn gan Mabon Ap Gwynfor, mi'n athe prif wnei dod mwyn i lai'n cyhuddo ni ar y meincia. Yma ac ymgyrchwyr a staff uh, lleol uh, am dan seilio gwasanaethau fasgul yr yn y gogledd oherwydd y modd dan ni wedi gwrthwynebu a chodi cwestiynau am y broses o ganoli gwasanaethau. O fod wedi gweld yr adroddiad damniol arall yma, ydy'r prif wneud o grwan yn gweld mae codi pryderon go iawn am y syma da yr oedd ni. Na, dwi ddim yn cytuno dy hynny o gyfwl a llawer. Dwi'n cofio y cwestiynau gyda'r Mabon ap Gwynfor a dwi'n cofio ar tebion, ar tebion o falus a roi i si a wthnos dwetha. A dwi'n dal a i credu beth wedi i si a wthnos ar ôl. Beth sydd wedi digwydd gyda'r y gwasanaeth i ailwampio y gwasanaeth a yw rhywbeth oedd yn angen reidiol i wneud. Y ffordd mae'n wedi cael ei wneud ddim yn derbyniol. Ond uh, fel oedd y Lynyd Morgan yn ddweud yn y datganiad uh, hi, dyna beth wedodd uh, y gwnidog. I am also sure that the situation has not been helped by relentlessly negative public discourse, which has overshadowed any positive impacts of the service configuration and had the potential to impact on staff morale. This is something that was noted in the first Royal College of Surgeons report. Concerns were raised and opposition uh, raised because we were worried about the standards of, of service. I could barely believe what I was reading in this uh, report. Treatment given uh, that should uh, not have been given, even amputation. Treatment not given when it should have been given. Appalling lack of communication uh, with patients and their families. Record keeping so poor that the Royal College investigators couldn't even figure out what had happened to some patients or what discussions there had been about their treatment or indeed whether the health board had even met its ethical and legal obligations in the treatment of patients. Far from being the fault of those of us who questioned the centralisation programme, this uh, has been down to incompetence and mismanagement. And the board had to insist on pressing ahead with this investigation when senior managers were still saying, no, everything's OK. Now, there were real questions over whether Betsy Cadwallader was ready to come out of special measures, very conveniently, before the last election. Yay. I'm looking for an assurance this afternoon that vascular services in the north will go back into special measures with targeted intervention to sort out this mess. And will the First Minister, in reflection, now agree that the end of special measures then was premature? Well, there are a number of points uh, uh, there. It's uh, important to put on the record the fact that uh, up to half of the 44 cases investigated by the Royal College of Surgeons long predate uh, the reorganisation of the services. These are cases that span from 2014 to 2018 and 21. And the member, I think, does a disservice again this week in mixing up those two issues together. The way in which services have been redrawn so that specialist services are concentrated in one place was the right decision. That is not challenged in either of the Royal College of Surgeons reports. And indeed, the Royal College supported uh, that plan. What is unacceptable and deeply disappointing is the neglect of basic standards of professional practice uh, that are revealed uh, in the report. Now, I was the minister that placed Betsy Cadwallader into special measures. I remember being told by members on the floor of the chamber uh, that that was convenient for political purposes, uh, just as I'm used to other parties trying to claim that the decision to bring the board out of special measures was somehow politically motivated. Uh, it was, Llawydd, simply the result of the process that is in place. I cannot give the member uh, the guarantees that he asks for this afternoon because those are not political decisions. Now, he may think 
that he as a politician has uh, the answers and we should simply rely on his political judgment. But that is not the way in which those decisions are made in Wales. There will be a tripartite meeting. The tripartite meeting will make recommendations and then indeed it will be ministers that decide whether uh, and how to act on them. But that's how the system works. It's not by people designing solutions on the floor of the Senate. It's by taking the expert judgment of that rounded tripartite meeting uh, and then ministers taking the responsibility for acting on them. I fear that sometimes decisions are made without a deep understanding of the communities which they affect. Let's look at that principle of centralisation. Now, I totally understand uh, the arguments for developing centres that are able to have a bigger throughput of uh, patients with the most serious uh, illnesses. But A, when we do that um, for rural areas, say, we have to think innovatively so as not to strip away core functions that are important locally, because whatever promises were made uh, in relation to this particular centralisation, that certain services would be kept local, that's certainly not what has happened. And B, if it's about better services, why on earth did that element of centralisation that could have been beneficial not have been developed around Aspeti Gwynedd, where the quality of treatment was so high. I asked a Betsy Cadwallader medical director, why on earth uh, was it, wasn't it decided to centralise around Aspeti Gwynedd? He told me he didn't know. Now, there are lessons here for all of Wales, I believe, First Minister, and that is that the principle of centralising has become more important than the quality of care in too many instances. Will the First Minister commit to um, having an investigation that's open and transparent and independent into what happened with vascular services in the north so that all of Wales can be sure that those lessons where centralisation does go wrong are genuinely learnt? Well, there are some aspects of what the member said uh, which I can agree with. So we just had the second uh, independent investigation report published. I just don't see where the merit lies in piling investigation upon investigation. Uh, what we need is action on the basis of the reports that we now have in front of us. Uh, the point that uh, I feel I can agree with uh, is when uh, Rina Bjorwe says that models that are developed by Royal Colleges and others have to be properly transferred into the Welsh context and can't be just picked up and dropped into Wales. Uh, now, when I was the health minister, I was also responsible uh, for a piece of work done about Bronglice Hospital, uh, in which exactly these arguments uh, were discussed and discussed with Royal Colleges about the way in which services that could safely and properly be provided locally in a rural area uh, could be safely and successfully deployed at that hospital. And I think that has been a successful set of actions that have followed that have added to the staff at the hospital and the capacity at the hospital. So I agree that general trends in medicine, which are towards centralization of specialist services, have to be calibrated to the context in which they are uh, being implemented. And we should do that in a way that works for us here uh, in Wales. Uh, where I do depart from him completely in, is in his wish to try and reopen old battles over the way in which services were uh, decided upon and configured in North Wales in the vascular uh, context. The health minister could not have been more direct in her statement about the distraction at the very best that that will be from the real job in hand, which is to make sure that the system that we now have works and works properly and does not have uh, the very disturbing and disappointing aspects that were revealed in the report that the board itself had commissioned.